Hi, this is a quick run through called Cubase plugin functions. And let me just run you through some of these functions that it have. It has, a, it can bypass plugins uh, like this. You can see I can bypass them with key commands. Um, I can also turn them on and off and open them. So like this, you can see. Uh, or open like that with key commands and there's also uh, this plugin insert pop-up that will basically oh no, let me just get it on the main screen it will give you a lot of different options if you just write a name in here let's say I wrote delay then it will try to add the first thing with the name delay on the first available track. So I'm going to press enter. So it's going to go to that first one that was available and add it there. I can also remove an insert if I write R and then the number I want to remove. So here I was pressing R2. You see it removed it there. Let's remove four. And we can also move plugin. So if I write uh, one, four, then it's gonna move from one till four. Uh, and then three to one, it's gonna move three up to one. If I just press enter right away, it's gonna find the first available slot and I can uh, write something like that. And if I write a specific single number, let's say three, then I'll add a plugin on that number. Then there's three more uh, functionalities here. Uh, go to last edit, go to next edit. It's basically just clicking these arrows. You can see if I click around here, then these arrows gets a color. So if I start clicking here, then I can start navigating back and forth with those two commands here. Um, you can see now, let me see, yeah. Um, if we open up a plugin on a channel and we're not on that channel, we can also click on this plugin and then use this command and jump to that channel. So I'm maybe down here, but if this is in focus and I click this command, I'm going to jump to that uh, channel for that specific plugin, and that's this function. Uh, in order to install this, to use the open and on off and bypass functionalities, you need to add a generic remote. It's very easy. You just need to first create the XML and you do that by saying run command. Then we have the XML here. And in Cubase or Nuendo, I'll just create a generic remote and then import it. It also needs to have a specific MIDI input because as you can see here, it's this is a script sending out to this specific named MIDI input. And you do that by going into your audio MIDI setup, open the MIDI uh, window, EAC driver, and then add by pressing plus a EAC driver called SF plugin control. And it also needs to have this name specifically up here. And then you can use all those functionalities. In order to use the plugin insert pop-up, you do need to uh, install the ski remote. Um, and that is, you do that by pl clicking plus ski remote there. And you need to uh, disable the authentication. So this has to not be ticked. One last thing to notice is that instead of making uh, one for each, like uh, one command for each number. I've done so that it will, like based on uh, either numlock or the numbers on your keyboard, it will open the corresponding plugin. Um, and nine to 16 will also be from one to eight. So you would add uh, extra modifier key. If you want to, I don't know, open it on your stream deck, you would have to make single commands 
um, and change these to one, two, three, four, five, up to um, 16. You don't need that to be in the same package. So we could cover that in another video if you need to know how to do that. And that's it. Hope you will enjoy.